So, hallo Pfeifen, Sie stehen hier mit Sean Tompkins, dem Trainer von Mark Hominick, Chris Rodetsky und Sam Stout. Und, um, how are you doing? I'm doing great, I'm really excited, you know, this is the biggest event in the history of the UFC, UFC 29. And I think it's some kind of a homecoming for you. Absolutely, you know, this is basically the backyard of where I grew up, you know, we're, we're about an hour away from here is where my, my original gym is. Um, so, I mean, it's, these are our fans, I'm, I'm very excited to be in Canada. And I think you are married to, to Sam Stout's uh, sister. That's right, uh, Emily. Emily and I have been married for two years, been together for about 12. She introduced me to her 14-year-old uh, her little brother at one point of our uh, relationship, and uh, now he's a superstar in the UFC. And um, um, Jose Aldo and Mark Hominick are very good strikers, but um, uh, Jose Aldo is known for his Muay Thai style and Mark is very technical. What do you think? Who's the superior striker? Well, I think it's, I don't know if there's a superior one when it comes out to the striking side of things. They're just too different. You know, Jose Aldo is a very, uh, very much a power striker. Um, he's very good at knees and kicks, uh, where Mark is more, like you said, technical um, and he uses his speed and uh, definitely more of a boxer than Jose Aldo. And how do you think the, the fight goes down? Well, oh, I trained Mark Hominick, so I hope that he wins the title. And Sean, I heard that you are um, no Alan Oma. Yes, I got to train with him uh, for probably about three or four weeks in, in Las Vegas. He came out to get ready for a fight and uh, actually lived at my fighter house for a little while. And what do you think of him? I think he's a very talented fighter, one of the best out there. Um, and I hope that the UFC finds him very soon and, uh, and gets him involved in their show. And I think uh, with a, a coach like you and someone uh, like you who uh, train him, you have the best op uh, opportunity to get them in the house. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's he, like I said, he has a lot of uh, a lot of skill already. You know, he's a very good fighter as it is. He just needs to go to the new level. And um, uh, I, I read your statistics, and you are, well, I got four losses in MMA, and you're such an amazing coach. Yeah, well, you know, I, my four losses in MMA come after 47 fights in kickboxing, 43 wins. So I've been on both sides of it, and I think that's what it gives me a good, uh, a good skill level as a coach. I, you know, I, I know how to bring out the best in a fighter, and I understand the sport very well. Yeah, your record uh, reminds me of Freddie Roach. He lost also many fights, and he's an awesome, awesome coach. Yeah, I mean, there's a big difference between coaching and fighting. You know, it's, a, it's two different beasts, and uh, I think that uh, a lot of times you learn more from losing than you do winning. Okay, thank you very much Thanks for taking for your time. Me. Thank Appreciate you. It.